Robert Kiyosaki said in his book, savers are losers. What do you think the bank does with your $250,000? Since you're now the bank, how, how do you loan money? And to what do you loan money to? Because you're now the bank. Who is your customers? Your children. You guys get it? This is how the rich get. This is how we help people beat inflation. This is how we help people minimize and eliminate taxes. When you draw money from your 401k plan, how much of that is yours? Well, all of it. Say, uh uh, nope, it's not yours. Depending on the tax environment, a half of it could be Uncle Sam. What is on everybody's mind right now? Money. Money. Where's the inflation rate at today? Somebody, somebody Google. 7.9% inflation. Okay, so here's my point. So in other words, things cost, the, CP, the consumer price index is at 7.9%, correct? Okay, what's the savings account at the bank giving you on your, on your, on your money? Is that, is, that, is that what it is? Somebody go, so, so put in, the, in your phone, top savings rate. Top savings rate, put it in your phone. I'm curious. <laughs> what well, top savings rate? That's amazing. Point six. Point six percent. Synchrony bank. Point six percent interest. Point five. Yeah. Dang. What's and the minimum? They charge the twenty six percent on their credit card. What's that? Synchrony bank. No, 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 no. What's, uh, let's let's not get ahead of ourselves. What's the what's the interest rate on the savings account? Point six. six. What's the minimum account balance? What I'm looking at is 1% minimum of 250000 <laughs> Okay, we're going to give you 1% if you put $250,000 in an account. Wow. Okay, so guys, what's 1% of $250,000? 25000 No. It's $2,500. So if you wait seven to seven... Okay? Okay, so 1%... So 1 of 250,000 is? 2,500 dollars. What's 10 percent? I'm, I'm so much public high school education up in here. <laughs> okay, so 10 percent is 25,000, right? 1 percent is 2,500. Okay, you guys remember the rule of 72? What does the rule of 72 say? Okay, so you divide 72 into your interest rate and it takes you, it tells you how many years it takes for your money to double. So if you have a 1% interest rate with a minimum account balance of 250, it is going to take you how many years? 72, 72 years for this to finally grow to $500,000. Who is, uh, I can't believe you're not running out of the office right now. Open up a new savings account. <laughs> okay? So, save, Robert Kiyosaki said in his book, savers are losers. Now, that, that's, you, you got you to qualify that though. Do we preach for you to save money? Yes or no? Yes. Of course. But save money to eventually do what? You save to invest. Whether that's a business, whether that's real estate, whether it's whatever opportunity comes your way to invest into something. But you save to invest. Those that save more money today are tomorrow's multimillionaires because opportunities will come its way. Sarah made a very good point. What did you say, Sarah, at the credit card company? So the, the bank says, hey, bring your money here at 0.6% or 1%. Bring your money back. What do you think the bank does with your $250,000? They, they invest it. So they, so they get you to deposit two fifty. Guess what they do? Invest it into what? So you go to the other door of the bank or you go to the other area of the website, and where they loan you at? A credit card at what? 26% student loan. Car loan. Who's got a student loan right now? What's the interest rate on a student loan? Five, five, six, okay, five, six percent. What's the what's the what's the, what's a uh, student loan? What's a what's a um, credit card? Twenty six percent student loan. These double things. So in other words, they pay you one percent, but they collect from you twenty six percent. That's the banker's game. Joseph, come up real quick. So jo Joseph, Joseph is the banker. David. David's the opportunity. So, in other words, I give it to Joseph. Here's my 250 grand. Here's my 25,000 dollars. He's the banker. He, he says, hey, he says, thank you. Here's a percent. Okay, here you go. Here's a percent. And what does he do? He goes to Wall Street. He, he, creates, he creates bank products. And he, he creates a credit card, creates student loan, 
creates a home loan, mortgage loan, car loan at 8%, 9%, 26%, and he makes money off who? Me and other banking customers. Wow. And then so Joseph collects that money back, right? And, I, and he, he goes, Here, here's my 1%. 0.5. Uh, 0.5. Yeah. And he goes back <laughs> and, and enjoys his merry day because he's the banker. My question to you, do you want to be a banker? No. Yes. Heck yeah, you want to be a banker. <laughs> do you want to be your own family bank? Yes. What's your last name? My name. Okay, put your last name on your notes. And then the next word after your note, after your last name, put bank. Kiritu, yeah. bank. Hoenn, bank. 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 Ducil, bank. Ducil, bank. Chavez, bank. Chavez, bank. Chavez, bank. At the count of three, at the count of three, shout out your family bank's name. One, two, three. Good. Now, when you're the, make some noise to you guys, appreciate you guys, thank you, okay? Now, now my question to you. Now, 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 since you created the bank, since you're now the bank, how, how do you loan money? And to what do you loan money to? Because you're now the bank. Who is your customers? Yes. Your children, right? Your family members. That's how you loan money back. What are your terms? You guys get it? Yes. This is how the rich get? Richer. And when times like this, what, what, uh, what did the house just pass last week? Uh, 1.5 trillion dollar spending plan, six, uh, uh, 16 billion to Ukraine. It was an excuse for them to create more and print more money. money. Yeah. But guess who gets that money? Rich people. Yeah. Now, the question for you is: Is there anything in America keeping you from being rich? No. no, it's up to you. Do you want to be broke, or do you want to be rich? Yeah. Then you got to learn the rules of the money game. You got to learn when you're getting taken advantage of. And another way the bank takes advantage of you. You know what I hate from the bank? Freaking overdraft, freaking charges. Did I say that? Okay. You have those little thin envelopes in the bank? Thin envelopes in the mail? What is, what is that? You've just overdrafted your account. So how the hell do you, I had $2 left on my debit card. I go to uh, Wendy's and they charge $3 because I went to the junior menu plus taxes. So I had $2, but you allowed $3 to go through, but now I owe you $35? <laughs> That's a $35 WAP, uh, 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 Wendy's Junior menu. And then you got to go down to the bank and ask for what? Get my money back. <laughs> I was the guy in the bank, like, yo, dog, hey, I got 10 envelopes. <laughs> and, like, and then everybody at the bank, like, oh, no, here he is again. Here he is again. Here he is again. <laughs> and I'd be the guy at the bank, like, yo, come on, man, I'm struggling. How the hell do you let my $2 go through? You let my $3 go through. You charge an overdraft. I have $500 in overdraft fees with you guys. I'm a single dad. Come on, give me a freaking break. Okay, sir, but this is one time. I know. This one time a month. Because <laughs> I'll be back next month. Right? So they, they do that. I'm, I'm thinking to myself, what the hell? How do these bankers get it, get it up on me? Until I figured out the game. Okay? Now, so what I want to do is to show you how one of our policies helps you beat inflation from a saving and investing standpoint. Are you an investment advisor? No. no. Are you a financial advisor? No. No. So don't, are you an investment counselor? No. No. Are you an insurance agent? Yes. yes. Be proud of that. Yes. Be, very, be very proud of that. It's a very noble profession. Okay, so for 150 bucks a month, you see this? For seven years, I get this policy started. If something were to happen to me right now, 275,000 tax free is going to my Beneficiaries. So this is why I say your first investment, your first, your, your first way of building a house is what? The way you build a financial house is based on? Foundation. Foundation, foundation you have to mitigate risk. Because you know what will hit the fan. Right? And, th and then you build. Right? And then you build the, the, the roof. What's the roof? Stocks, equities, crypto. Okay? So foundation is risk management. Second thing is savings, and then you invest. You know what people do? This is upside down. 401k first, life insurance last. And what happens is they die, they die, they have $25,000 in their 401k, the beneficiary inherits the $25,000, or they could have in inherited what? 275. So your first 
your first priority of money, it should be to establish a solid foundation. Okay, that's what you do. So let's, let's say now I, I started getting involved with PHP. Now they start making more? And I'm just being very generous here. Seven years later, okay, now they're going to start increasing what they put inside the policy. It's a long time, by the way. So now they're 32 years old. Now instead of 150 bucks a month, now they're putting, what, 6,000 a year divided by 12? 500 bucks a month. They went from 150 to 500 bucks, okay? But what's the problem, though? The policy says you can't put money here based on what? IRS guidelines. Uh, right? 7702. Okay? Based on TEFRA, DEFRA, and TAMRA tax laws, we can't put this money inside the policy until we what? Increase the that benefit. So we, we are flipping out option B. What, what is this illustration telling me? We can fund this bank, but we, we need to increase what? We need to increase the death benefit. We tried to do it with flipping to what? Option B. So with the family bank, the policy says we can do a family bank, but you need to flip it to option B. You need to increase the death benefit. Two options you have at this point. Either sell them another policy or... Why don't we want to sell them another policy? Because what don't we restart within an existing policy? The surrender charges. Because at the 15th year, what disappears? Surrender charges. So people, a lot of people say, well, there's a lot of surrender charges with inside life insurance. Well, you only pay surrender charges when you what? Surrender, surrender the policy. It's like a CD. If I surrender the CD before the, er, before the withdrawal period, I pay an early withdrawal penalty. But if I don't surrender the policy before the surrender charge period, what, you don't, what don't you pay? Surrender charges, it goes away. So that's a myth that we, dis that we demystify. But if you keep the policy, let's say here in 20 years, the guy's 45 years old. How much money does he have inside his policy? $146,000, the guy's 45 years old. Can you get some real estate? Yes. Can you start a business? Yep. Guess how PHP got started? Patrick's withdrawal from his life insurance policy. You and I are standing here today because Patrick withdrew money from his life insurance policy that he funded for nine years, since he was 21, 22 years old, to start PHP. Okay, let's go, let's go to seven years old. So, uh, 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 46 years, seven years old, what does he have inside his policy? A million dollars. How much money, how much money uh, can you withdraw at this point? 200,000, 300,000, 400,000? Right, uh, can, can, can he withdraw what he put into the policy without paying a diamond tax? That's called basis, right? Whatever you put into the policy, you can always withdraw without paying a diamond tax. What about the gains on a policy? He can loan on a policy, right? And we heard, we heard on, on, on Tuesday what North American said about the loan provisions inside the policy. After the six year in the policy, guess what you don't pay? Interest on the loan. Okay? Now, different insurance companies have different pr provision on the loan provision, but that's why you need to know your products. You got to know the periods that, that, that uh, the products offer. So here, in the 70 years, at 70 years old, because today, a 20 year old is not going to retire at 60, 65 years old, right? Who's 60 years old today that's still looking hot? <laughs> every, pr practically every 60 year old is looking hot at 60 years old, right? Like 60 is like the new 40. Yes. Right? Back in the day, I grew up, now don't judge me because I said this, back in the day, I grew up watching this show off and on. It's black and white. It's called Beverly Hillbillies. Okay? Black and white Beverly Hillbillies. So these hillbillies moved to Beverly Hills. Granny was moving with the family. How old was Granny in that show? She was 60 years old. She looked old. <laughs> right? So, so today, people are retiring more closer to 70. So at 70 years old, a guy's got a million, million dollars in the policy. Now, let's say I want to go out and, and, and buy a uh, $500,000 Rolls Royce. Can I do it? Yeah. Okay, do I go to a bank to finance it? No. Or do I go to my own bank to finance it? No. So I would draw $500,000 from the policy. I go into the dealership, negotiate the best price, cash, right? Best price, deliver to my house. Guess who, guess who pays the car payment? I do to my life insurance policy. But it's unlike a 401k, do you, do you withdraw the policy? Do you withdraw the money from the policy? Do you sell your positions in the S&P 500 index to take money out or do you loan against it? Okay, 401k. Do you withdraw money from the 401k, sell it to position at a down market? So for example, if you were to loan money from your 401k plan, it's based on current market value, yes? So you have to sell your shares in that 401k plan at the current market value at the end of that, of that, day, of that day, right? Yeah. Then you get your check. What's the only way you get back in? Hopefully the market's back at that price. Or you can pay a higher price for the same stock that you own. Does that happen with inside life insurance? No. It does not because you're loaning from the policy. And how old is uh, this company? How old, how, old is, uh, how old is National Life Group? 
170 years old. And if you want to go visit them, they're right across, right here, out, off of uh, Beltline, off the uh, the In and Out, that building, National Life, the, the office is right there. Which is a cool thing to know here in, in Dallas. If if I'm having this conversation in Chicago, do you, you realize 60% of all the tallest buildings in Chicago are owned by life insurance companies? So all the people that say, I want to invest in real estate, I want to invest in real estate, guess what the insurance industry loves to do? <laughs> invest in real estate. So, but guess what you establish first? There was, a, there was a guest outside, yeah, I'm gonna get involved in commercial real estate. Yeah, I want you to get involved in commercial real estate too as well. What's the downside to commercial real estate for those who wanna get involved investing in commercial real estate? You, you need what? You need a lot of capital. Like this building right here, this is a $5 million building. You need a 30% down payment. What's 30% down payment here? $1.5 uh, $1. million. You wanna buy this building? Great, you need a down payment of $1.5 million. Well, guess what, the HVAC don't work, does it? How many guys are here during the week the HVAC don't work? It's cold, hot, cold, hot, cold, hot. Well, every time these guys come out, guess who pays for it? The owner. <laughs> well, you want to be the owner? Well, that's what happens when you invest in commercial real estate. But anyway, what I want to share with you is this is what we do. This is how we help people beat inflation. This is how we help people minimize and eliminate taxes. Biden just uh, canceled student loan debt, didn't he? He's, he's proposing to cancel student loan debt. Guess who's going to pay for it? Taxpayers. Taxpayers. Guess what tax is going to go in the future? Lower the same or higher? higher. Well, if the tax is going to be higher, guess who's going to pay for it? So if you have your, with your investments or your money in areas that's taxed, guess what? The question you're going to ask somebody, when you withdraw money from your retirement plan, how much of that money are you going to keep? When you withdraw money from your 401k plan, how much of that is yours? Well, all of it. Say, uh-uh, nope, it's not yours. Depending on the tax environment, a quarter of it, an eighth of it, a third of it, a half of it, could be Uncle Sam's. Mm -hmm. Would you like to have, make sure that Uncle Sam's got 0% of it? That's what we do. Like right now, you know what we're doing tonight? You know what we're doing this morning? For some of you, this might get your wheels turning. And you're gonna start thinking to yourself, hey, I'm gonna be a freaking family bank. Now, is it gonna happen overnight? So our job is to get you a half million dollar income. Why half million dollar income? Because today, 48% of people making six figures are feeling what? Paycheck to paycheck. 48%. May, May of 2021, Last year, it was 39%. So as time has gone by, people making six figures are starting to feel more paycheck to paycheck. That's why we say $100,000 income here in this office is minimum wage. We need to get you to what type of income? $500,000. Because I promise you, whoa, I can breathe. I can do some things. Like right now, we're, we're, Sheena and I had $1.8 million in income. Um, so, so you guys got bamboo, right? So what, is, what does bamboo tell you? Okay, who, so who, who's new? Who's less than 30 days in the business? Okay, Ivan, so this is my cash flow. What, what's, what's today's date? The Today 11th? 12th. The 12th, okay. So, this, so we got paid last Friday, right? Oh, yesterday. So this, this is our paycheck for the first 11 days of the month. Can you, can you read it out loud to everybody? Um, that's about 64641 with 62 cents. <laughs> 64,000 the first 11 days of March. Do you think we're worried about $7, $7 a gallon of gas? No. Do you think I'm worried about $10 a gallon of gas? No. Do you think I care about the 20% increase in real estate prices here in Dallas? No. Why? You got money. Because the decisions I made today are the decisions I made a year ago, five years ago, 10 years ago. No. So 2023 is going to go. 2024 is going to go. 2025 is going to go. You're going to start saying, thank God you made a decision. Stick with the business in 2022. Your future version, next best version of yourself is gonna thank you for sticking with the business in 2022. Yes. The decision you gotta make is, what type of person do I wanna be? Am I clear about that? I got clear about who I wanted to be, what I wanted to become, and the choices and the options I wanna create for people I love and care about. The question for you is, are you? Because that was, that what gets me up to compete. I'm fired up about providing. Next Friday, I'm officially moving my parents down from <laughs> Right? Yeah. You're gonna see, Jacqueline's gonna have an auntie over here. <laughs> She's gonna have an auntie at the office. We're gonna have, a, with, with Jet, there's gonna be a Filipino corner we're gonna start brewing, right? If you see steam rising up because they got a rice cooker in the back of the office going, right? But my, I, I made a decision to make sure my mom and dad had options. We're moving them to McKinney. Uh, there's a $6,000 a month retirement community. I'm plugging them in there. Why a retirement community? Because I have nurses and doctors right there. 
My father's fell four or five times already this year. Uh, uh, Thanksgiving, he had a big bruise on his forehead because he fell. Uh, two weeks ago, he fell, he couldn't get up. I called my buddy at the local, uh, 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 the police department. I said, hey, Frankie, go pick up my dad. I, could you help me out, bro? Do a wellness check. I got you, bro. Goes over to my parents' house, picks him up, gets him back on. Come to fight him. My mom said, yeah, he fell again. Couldn't give it. I called the same cops. I'm, this does not happen. I feel powerless. I want to help my parents. I want to help my kids. I asked my daughter. I said, Melanie, you want to come down next Friday? By the way, you see the, who got the director? There's two Sapals in that leaders, but you see the Sapals? It's my, it's my 20-year-old daughter. I said, I said, babe, what type of uh, 21-year-old b- uh, birthday party you want, you want to do? Well, I want to do this, I want to do this, I want to do this. Okay, great, let's create a leaders bulletin, let's create a contest. If you do this, we'll have a Olive Garden birthday party. <laughs> but if you do this, okay, start picking. You do this, we get a banquet hall, invite all your friends. And I might have a beverage budget. Because you're 21. Oh, Poppy, really? Yeah, but you got to do this, though. You just can't be an average and ordinary. You know, Sapala's do this. You want to be average and ordinary, or you want to be a Sapala? Oh, I want to be a Sapala. Okay, tell your sister, too. She has a leader's bulletin, right? And depending on what you guys do, you guys can take out the Rolls Royce that night. You want to be a 21-year-old, drive around Dallas, and then, okay. It's up to that. But what, what am I doing? I'm creating competition. Why? Because in 2000, I made a decision to do something different in my life. I was sick and tired of being freaking broke. I was tired of life pushing me up against the wall and giving me freaking low blows to the kidneys, to the liver. I'm down. <sighs> Can't even freaking financially breathe. <sighs> Damn freaking overdraft fees. <sighs> Interest rates on my credit cards. <sighs> how, how frustrating it is to make a payment to your credit card and the balance doesn't go down. Yeah. That was my issue. <laughs> Holy shit. This is freaking pissing me off. And so once I decided to play financial office by getting to understand how to control my income, because once you understand that he or she that controls your income, controls your decisions, and it controls the decisions you make in your life, and that determines your life. So what choice do you want to make? Can you master this business? Or you want to, oh, you know, I'll figure out when I get to it. Next thing you know, inflation is 10%. What are you going to do? Some people are right now making a decision. Do I take the car out or not take the car out? Some of you guys are going to the restaurant. You guys used to go to natural restaurants. Now you guys are going back to Waffle House. <laughs> sure. No problem. No problem. I, I tell you, though, there's, there's, how would you like to go to a brunch, right, where it's 40 bucks for brunch? Hey, mom, dad, eat whatever. Eat your heart. We'll be here for another three hours. Take a break. Go to the bathroom. Come back. <laughs> you guys know what I'm talking about. I want you guys to go into places, you go into restaurants, places, you, know, you, guys, know, you guys know what Michelin rated restaurants are? I, I had no clue, like Michelin tires? <laughs> no, Michelin rated, how many of you guys have never heard of Michelin rated restaurants before? Exactly, that same boat I was. Michelin rated restaurants are top of the shelf restaurants, small restaurants, six month waiting lists to eat dinner there. The best of the best. Go, go Google Michelin rated restaurants Dallas. Maybe we run a, con- if you guys never experienced it, maybe we run a contest, we experience a Michelin rated uh, 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 restaurant, we experience a dining experience together, why, why, why don't we do that? Mm. But that's, stuff, that's the type of stuff we are. I want you guys to visit with me in some of the best plays that Dallas has to offer. So, that being said guys, can we compete this weekend? Yes. Uh, PHP University, guess what, we're gonna unpack a little bit more further in PHPU. This type of stuff. Okay, this type of stuff. We're going to nerd out. We're going to nerd out on this type of stuff because once you gain skills and confidence, you go out there, you're a frippin' beast. I want you guys to go out and beast up your bank accounts. And you, Ivan, you saw my bank account. This is not just reserved for me. This is something you can earn very quickly, sooner than later.